teams in the Class 4A bracket alone, including 21-2, and two, Decora, their last trip to state, 2007. Yasmin Witsit, probably about a year old then. Today, the junior starts the action with a J. Vikings have the early lead against Ballard. Witsit, a team high, 17. But Ballard makes up the deficit, and we are tied at halftime. Then the Bombers go on a big run of their own. Senior Haley Gossman with a strong lane cuts it to 12, but there's just no breaking Ballard. Bombers take this one 58-44, to 44, one of the best seasons in Decorah history comes to an end. Like, I'm obviously still sad about it, but I'm just, like, proud. Like, I just want to hang my head high now instead of letting all the tears come because, like, we made it to stay. We haven't made it to stay since 2007. And just to be here and live in this moment is just great. Next up, a 2-7 matchup. Clear Creek Amanda up against number two seed North Polk. Clippers are the underdog, making just their second ever trip to state. Good idea to get Bliss Beck involved. The former AOW gets the dish from Ava Locklear to make it 2-2. But the Comets were hitting just about everything. CCA does end the half with the buzzer beater to go into the locker room. It's Avery Lauer cashing for three, but North Polk up 42 to 16 at intermission. Second half, more of the same. North Polk can't seem to miss, but how about the fight from Lauer? She cans the triple, and you're looking into the future, folks. She's just a freshman. All but one starter coming back next season, but this is just not the year for CCA. They finish 18 and 5. More basketball coming up later. For now, reporting from Wells Fargo Arena, Jack Lito, KCRG TV9 Sports. One other score in a game that just ended. Bishop Heelan beat defending state champion Xavier 63-36.